Hi, I'm Amina. I'm a multimedia artist living in the city of Richmond, Virginia. My work reflects my attraction to various real life situations that I view as found still lives. Though photography is my primary artistic lens, I hybridize my process to incorporate web and graphic design, making visual chimeras. I'm an avid follower of pop art and in post internet art, still life and street photography, and graphic artists working with digital processes. I fangirl over tons of art on Instagram, Arena, and Pinterest, where I save all the work I like. In addition to keeping a long list of artists linked to their websites and process information, I also collect a lot of books, probably one too many. I can't remember my first good photo, but I started taking them as an observant elementary schooler with an Elmo film camera. No clue where that camera or those photos went. I renewed my photographic interest in middle school with an iPod touch, which is probably how the accumulating began. That switched to digital. Throughout high school, I stocked up on photos daily with my first iPhone and the occasional Fujifilm shot. In junior year, I heard about going to college for art, which sounded fake, but interesting. So with the help of the art teachers in a few months time, I built a now horrible portfolio of drawings and five or so photos to apply to VCU. That school down the street seemed the most real to me as a Richmond kid compared to other schools that I didn't get to visit. So taking the advice given from other schools at Portfolio Day, I applied and got into AFO. Over the four years at VCU, I grew a lot, maintaining my interest while gaining community, skills, and way more confidence in myself and the artists I grew into. I actively committed to making the work I do because it feels natural to do so. Even though my start, in my opinion, was rough, these photos are things I notice daily and other modes I work in follow my interest in the output I want to see in that moment. Whether it's banners, books, websites, or something else on a screen, my main goal of creating things is to enjoy it. In general, my photo practice is cumulative, cyclical, and comes from the want to capture and collect. A big part of my practice is display, a majority of which I do online, with my print mediums primarily being within publications or as banners. While making and displaying work digitally, I gradually incorporated hand coding and web design into my practice, which led into my thesis project and helped anchor my artist student experience as a whole. The unifying theme in my work is the unique everyday, things that stand out and are part of our regular environments and can be a result of change, interruption, or transformation. This project was uh, myself sort of mapping where I go, using keywords to describe the photos I take, and it culminated in an installation with a double-sided banner that mimicked the website I created for it, where the image of when hovered on changes into the keywords. Going into my thesis, I began learning how to build a space in Maya. And when that kept crashing every single time and me getting nowhere, I moved onto the web. The website provided a container to hold whatever objects I created. And I decided to learn 3D printing and use Photoshop to make 3D photos possible. The banners became necessary to me as language artifacts between the flat and formed. The project itself was the creation of a virtual gallery space, complete with the mission statement of showcasing innovative makers hosted on a thoughtfully hand-coded website. It began as a fictional concept, but I consciously transformed it with code and images into a real space. With all the content on the site being made by me, Decode and its past and ongoing programming fell in line with my interests in type, everyday objects, and digital processes. 
The gallery exists in the brick and mortar of digital media and it lives online as an archive, a store, a resource, and a repository of ideas and language. The featured show, Translations, stemmed from my vernacular of found still life photography. After collecting and curating the photos, I produced 20 print works. The body of work is rooted in photography and translating the two-dimensional photograph to three dimensions. From, a, from the original photos selected for the color palette, how well they would translate into 3D initial compositional aesthetics, they were translated into 10 individual PLA prints on the right and right here, and four by six inches, and the in-between transliterations were printed on 24 by 36 inch fabric banners. These individual vertical compositions changed their physical makeup to be traceable, but also very different from the original, much like the translation of spoken or written languages from one to another, hence the title of the show, Translations. Each 3D piece has a visceral effect. Although they have an alien look, one may be reminded of a digital histogram or an assembly of varying amplitudes, a topography of shadow. The banners are a bit more familiar in that they display images, but outside of a mass-produced commercial environment, of which I've seen banners and signs with grommets, the objects seem out of place. The feeling is furthered by the eye-tricking imagery they showcase, being in between two dimensions and three. Breaking away from my original plan to show as a pop-up at the Anderson, I swiftly installed the show online. Not just as a online compliment, the show itself stood on its own. The display method calls to my intention to show the realness of the virtual, playing with virtual space and reforming the flattened, hence making a floor out of CSS. The gallery is cemented in the reel uh, using print material like show cards, uh, price list, and the catalog. Overall, this work treats the virtual as a valid a space as a brick and mortar gallery and showcases the combined skill and experimentation needed to move between real and fictional flat informed images and art and design languages. This catalog included writings just like on the website that showcase my collaboration with some AI online and inputting text and seeing what it would spit out. Um, I enjoyed making uh, objects from photos and being versatile in the processes I used. I'm very proud of what I was able to make out of the photos I take every day and what grew from the idea of making their ideal display space. I am excited to see where I can take this and to see the future changes and iterations. Um, basically, I want to make more. I think building something I made from wanting to see my work in this way would be great to turn outward. I hope to fill the content on the site and the Instagram with more than just my own work and highlight people making cool things all as well. The gallery and translation show are now online and active and the space feels anchored and its own real space. And I think having a virtual and a digital platform gives it room to grow as my interests shift. And I can add as much as I want because the internet is limitless as long as you have a connection. Uh, thank you.